Hey there comic fans, welcome to another edition of the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. I'm back, I am your friendly neighborhood comic book broadcaster and today on uh, the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast I thought we'd take some time and talk about uh, old forgotten comics. Um, I'm not sure whether I should use the term old but uh, let's just say it they're forgotten comics. Uh, recently I was clearing out my storeroom and I found a few boxes of comics that I totally forgot. I forgot I had them and uh, some of them were not in good shape like uh, like this one over here. I'm sure you were looking at this while I was talking. Yeah, this is a comic that's seen uh, some damage to it as you can see right here. Let me see if you can get that correctly. All right, this is Iron Man number 290, the 30th anniversary issue. It has a really nice gimmick uh, comic, you know, one of those uh, covers that uh, was popular back in the day. I kept this one because I like, um, well, I guess I like shiny covers. Anyway, back to the uh, some of the other comics that I found. Uh, like I mentioned, um, a lot of them were not in good shape. This one I still consider okay. Uh, the damage is only here. But I found a few comics that I didn't take really good care of over the years. And, ah, uh, uh, gosh, it was heartbreaking to see the condition of these comics. So I'm going to share them with you. Uh, in future editions of the show, I'll have more of these comics to share with you. But let's go to the first one. Now, this is going to hurt because, oh, look at that. Ah, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. 268. The cover is by John Byrne. This is um, a crossover from Secret Wars 2. What I did back in the day, rather stupidly, I admit right now, is I used tape uh, to keep the comic book together because at the time, after reading this issue so many times, it was falling apart. And uh, yep, yep, I managed to tape the inside as well. So basically what's happened is it's um, it's just falling apart right now. The tape is no longer holding the comic book together. Whatever is holding the book together, I'm not sure, but there's a lot of damage to it. This is a, a really nice issue. Uh, this gold is mine. It's a crossover from Secret Wars 2, as I mentioned. Cover by John Byrne. Uh, interior art by Ron Friends and Joseph Rubenstein. Really great comic book. Really great classic one. Wish I kept it in better shape. Now this one. This one was in pretty good shape. The 30th anniversary issue of Amazing Spider-Man number 1, 375. This is issue 375, uh, covered by Mark Bagley and Randy Emberlin, and it features, of course, Spidey vs. Venom, the final confrontation. They say that, but it's never the final confrontation. This one is not too bad. It's in pretty okay shape, except for a few blemishes here. I don't know whether you can see that correctly. I'm going to try and move this uh, closer to the camera. Let's see here. Well, look at that glare. Wow. I love this gimmick. Uh, these gimmick covers, they look so nice. Little bit of blemish here for some reason. I don't know what's causing this, but yeah. Overall, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, so I'm going to put this back here. Let's hope uh, the walls don't come crumbling down. Now, I bought this next issue. It's a it's a comic from DC Comics mainly because of the cover. Because the cover was drawn by none other than Todd McFarlane. I'm talking about Batman 423. I love this cover. Um, I think I got this at a second-hand store. Uh, people were just getting rid of their comics and I just picked it up. This uh, issue was uh, written by Jim Starlin, um, penciled by Dave Cockrum and um, inked by Dan DiCarlo, if I'm not mistaken. Really nice uh, comic book here. I also uh, bought one issue of a miniseries by DC Comics. Let's see if you remember this one. There you go. Remember this? This is Millennium. There was a, a miniseries uh, from DC Comics after their miniseries uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths and so on and so forth. They came up with Millennium. It was a weekly miniseries. Uh, I do believe it was six issues or more. Uh, uh, my memory is bad. I can't really remember. But this was the um, mega crossover event at the time, Millennium. Um, and I think it's in pretty good shape, except for a crease here and there. Yeah. Next one. Iron Man 192. Now, this was um, during the Danny O'Neill period when Danny O'Neill was writing Iron Man. And it was a recovering alcoholic Tony Stark versus uh, James Rhodes, who was wearing the red and gold armor at the time. This armor, this gray armor, was created by Tony in order to somehow to get uh, James Rhodes, Rhodey, to relinquish the armor because he was just, well, I guess reckless, 
you you have to read the storyline to find out what had happened to uh, Rhodey when he had the armor. But it's Iron Man versus Iron Man, one of the really nice covers from this series. And uh, yeah, another comic book that's seen better days, a few nicks and oh, bruises here and there. But uh, yeah, this comic book definitely brings back lots of memories. Here's a comic with uh, some damage, some water damage here and there, but it's still okay. Um, one thing I don't like about um, retailers here, they like to put stickers right here because they want to tell people, hey, this comic doesn't cost 60 cents, this comic costs whatever. I really hated stickers back in the day because they would really damage comics. When you try and peel off the price tag, those stickers, they leave this residue here and it just it spoils it for me, but um, yeah, I, I tried to take it off. I did, but some of the glue uh, or, or whatever, uh, there was a, a residue here. This is uh, Daredevil number 209. This is important. This uh, is an important issue for me because this was the second Daredevil comic ever for me. Uh, I have one, or rather I had an earlier issue of Daredevil, which I can't find anymore. It's not in the... Um, boxes that I found in the storeroom so this is my second uh, Daredevil comic and uh, one thing that I remember vividly about this comic is that uh, the issue is titled Blast from the Past and it's from an idea by Harlan Ellison. Uh, David Mazzuccelli is the penciler and a writer named Arthur Byron Cover was the writer. I've, I've never heard of him but uh, he was the writer of this issue. Issue 209 of Daredevil. Are you a fan of What If? I, I definitely uh, was a big fan. And I was really happy to find this in pretty good condition, I would say. What If Spider-Man's Uncle Ben had lived? This is issue number 46. Um, if you're a fan of What If, uh, the, the series What If, uh, yeah, you find that this is a really good story. And I was really happy when I picked it up long, long time ago because Ron Friends uh, was the penciler for this particular issue. Anyone remember this? Amazing Spider-Man 289. Now, the condition is not too bad. Not too bad at all. And uh, what makes this special is it's a special double-sized issue. And it says here, The Hobgoblin Revealed. And uh, I, think it, I think it's true. They did identify or reveal the identity of Hobgoblin. Moving on to New Defenders. Now, this is uh, a cover by Butch Guise. And, um, yeah, you can see here. Uh, let me bring it closer to you. You can see right over there. Look at that. I hate these um, price tag stickers, the glue, the residue when you try to take it off. An old issue of the New Defenders. Wow, that's an old one. Let's see. Moving on now. Oh, I've got another amazing Spider-Man. This one is uh, issue 237 uh, featuring Stiltman, the original Stiltman. In fact, it's the triumphant return of the original Stiltman. Old issue there. Here's another oldie. A classic, I, I should say. This one is The Mighty Thor, issue 328, um, featuring the high-tech havoc of Megatech. Ooh, uh, this is one of the old, uh, or rather classic issues that I have, and I'm really glad I still have it. Condition-wise, not too bad, not too bad. Moving on now to another issue of The Mighty Thor. This is probably, probably one of the oldest issues I have here. Um, this is issue 276 of the Mighty Thor, and this is the issue whereby Thor takes on Thor. Remember this guy? He is the new, original Thor, remember? Uh, I think he was featured in future issues, but uh, I guess this is the first time we've met this guy. He is the red-headed Thor, rather than the blonde-haired Thor. Thor. Um, I have to read this once again. I do believe uh, the art was handled by, yes, uh, John Buscema and Tom Palmer. Classic issue. Condition-wise, oh, good. Oh, goodness. It's not that great. It's, there's a crease right down the front page. It's torn. It's, it's, it's really battered, but uh, I'm going to keep this issue just one of the classic issues that I have. And rounding off the classic issues in my uh, box of... Uh, uh, of comics that I discovered. The new Captain Marvel, issue number 57. Now this one is uh, a classic and look at the um, look at the residue from the sticker, the price tag. It is terrible. Uh, but this issue is uh, something I'm going to keep. In fact, if I have the time, if I have the resources, I'm going to get some more plastics and backing boards for all these old issues. Uh, I've uh, gone through this book and I do believe someone's ripped out 
at least uh, three to four pages. I don't know why, but uh, the story is a little uh, disconnected because of the missing pages. So there you have it, some of the uh, comics that I found uh, just recently when I was clearing out my storeroom and looks like it's going to fall. Okay, the wall's coming down, the, the weight of the comics. Anyway, I'm going to have more for you in future editions of the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. And I have, yeah, quite a bit more to show you. As a matter of fact, I've got a whole stack of old Avengers comics that I'm going to share with you in the next edition of the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. I want to thank you for spending some time with me on the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, a like, or if you haven't, subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks a lot once again, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time on the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. Until next time, you take care. That's my thumb. <laughs>